Welcome to week three of the five weeks to run a 5K program. After this week, we'll be officially past the halfway mark. If you've managed to stay on track with the program this far, then you'll be ready for a fun week of increasing your intensity level. Our training focus this week is to enhance your body's response to performing at a higher intensity. We are essentially building an extra level of aerobic conditioning on top of our week one and week two aerobic foundation. This week's training will incorporate one of my favorite styles of training known as intervals. It is quite simply doing high intensity bouts of running followed by a predetermined rest or recovery period at a much lower intensity. Training in this way forces your body to utilize two different energy systems. The high intensity phase increases the amount of lactic acid that your body produces, a metabolic byproduct of physical activity. And over time, it makes you more efficient at processing it. In technical terms, interval training can help to enhance the body's lactic acid threshold, enabling you to work harder for longer. Our stretch this week will focus on loosening up your chest muscles. It's common for runners to get upper back soreness that may be related to your poor running posture. Tight pectoral muscles in the chest may make you round your back, causing muscle fatigue. You can do this stretch a few times throughout the day for great relief. Stand up tall, focusing on good posture. Place your hands behind your head and gently pull your elbows back to open up and stretch the chest. You can also stretch one side at a time using a tree or wall to assist you. Simply place your hand on the tree just below shoulder height. Stand in a runner's stance and gently lean forward. You should feel the stretch across your chest. For our lower body stretch, let's focus on the hip flexors because this is another muscle group that can get tight, especially when you increase your running intensity. Get into a lunge position with your hands on your hips and your back nice and tall. As you lower deeper into the lunge, ensure your back remains upright. You should feel a stretch at the top of your leg. Adjust your body position sitting deeper into the lunge as needed to increase the stretch. In week one, we worked on running with the correct foot placement. And in week two, our focus was using an efficient arm swing technique. This week, we are increasing our running intensity. So I wanted to share a tip on running posture. When running, you should have nice tight core muscles and try to keep a tall spine. You should have a slight forward lean, but not so far forward that it limits your range of motion. Have fun trying to find a comfortable and efficient posture for your body. Consuming a combination of protein and carbohydrate within 30 minutes of a workout allows your body to maximize the physical adaptations caused by the training you have just completed. Having adequate amounts of protein in your diet is essential for muscle growth and repair. An added bonus of eating protein is that it keeps you feeling full helping you to avoid the temptation of reaching for convenient yet often unhealthy snacks. Both Rebuild Strength and Rebuild Endurance have a great balance of protein and nutrients. Knowing which one to take will require you to recognize what type of workout you just completed and listen to your body. If your workout was short, intense and highly aerobic and you feel hungry and low in energy, Rebuild Endurance will likely be your choice. I always say that when in doubt, take Rebuild Strength, as most people can usually benefit from some additional high quality protein. And if later on you feel the need for a boost, a deluxe protein bar is a great snack choice. Enjoy taking your training to the next level. And as always, please listen to your body.